So boom, we are back. We're gonna go over a lot of stocks in this video. We got Tesla stock that hit my target area pretty much perfect. SNCI is having some more pull down today. We'll go over NVIDIA stock, more pull down today. Like I've been telling y'all, we are downside. We are bearish. We're expecting a lot of downside type of movements. AMC more downside today. It hit that resistance level perfect, what I told y'all as well. We'll go over the cannabis sector like Sundell and Tilray. We'll go over the Bitcoin sector, also the crypto stocks. Also, I think the halving is this Saturday. Let me know uh, if that's true or not. Let me know in the comments session down below we got that sector we got the gold sector oil sector and i think that's it okay so smash the like button subscribe if you're new thank you guys for being here and let's get straight into it so let's go ahead and go over amc first so i told y'all amc yes that decent push but it stopped right at that resistance level right around three dollars like i told y'all that's resistance once it actually breaks that then it could possibly possibly reach to about three dollars forty cents that is all i see i'm not telling you that amc stock can go to a thousand dollars a hundred dollars i'm telling you that if it breaks there it'll probably go there that's pretty much it that's about a 10 percent gain that's it take the profit and then keep pushing right but it hasn't broke that resistance area yet it actually showed us today that's why i say never miss a video get this video over 150 likes within like four hours i appreciate it game stops in the trash in the gutter nothing to go on with game stops sometimes they move in sympathies but we don't really see that right now okay let's go over um so far, I still need more pull down. It has to break 670 for me to be interested in it. Palantir's pull down, like I told y'all, they're all going to start testing those support levels. They have more pull down. I need that to get to about $20 or so. If we go to SMCI, okay, SMCI hit that resistance level pretty much perfect at $1,000. That's why you don't miss a video. And we had that pull down, right? So nothing is out of the woods yet off of SMCI, okay? I think it should be breaking that support level, and I think we'll probably see it, but around 800 to the 700s in the downward area. I don't see anything right Right now saying that SNCI wants to go higher so just be careful of that trying to chase that when it's really not there that's like free trading when you don't have to do that okay so just be mindful of that as you're playing stuff and so forth just try not to be chasing that too much Let's go to NVIDIA stock. NVIDIA stock, I told y'all, I don't really trust any upper movements. We're expecting more pull down. It tested that support today right around like 843. You can see right there. See how it kind of stalled? Big drop started going up and then it stalled all through here of this. Um, at that support at the end we actually did play nvidia put options as you can see right here nvidia put option play that was today right around 838 we sold all of it at 841 that baby did 70 percent gains in three minutes it banged okay i'll show you the team wins right here nvidia also caught the secondary movement on apple stock you can see the whole team winning right here 17 9 17 2000 30 25 770 percent 18 17 all right so 16, boom 30, so you just 9, saw all the team one that's why i say make sure you join first in that description is only six five dollars a month 650 for the year 14.99 one-time fee lifetime for lifetime access comes with personal training um after pay is available for a lifetime in elite year and then personal training 699 one-time fee if you just want that by itself make sure you email me but whenever you join elite a lot of people ask me you get access to the, the discord so discord is where everything happens my buys and sales options shares leaps all that good stuff we have a chat room private live streams that you get every day the market's open and so forth okay so make sure you join you got about 24 25 more days before i close it all prices are going to go up okay but yeah that's the video it's still installed at that support level so so it's still the same support i would say for now uh, yeah still same support because it, it uh, closed above it so 843 support still looking for it to go below 800 dollars. don't really trust any upper side movements on the video stock right now also amd stock yeah i know i want amd to go around 150 it's starting to go there it has support around 147.30 not too much you could do right now amd stock maybe scalping it is probably the best options right now as stocks start to trend down, which we literally do every day, right? Y'all just saw we just made 70% on the video. You could have paid for almost a year of your membership within one play, and then you got the whole year free, okay? That's very powerful. Understand that. We yeah, have AMD's two levels right there. Let's go to the uh, cannabis sector, SNDL, $1.85. Seems like it wants to break that, but it's still testing it like every day. So that's still a support level. See how it tested it there, tested it here. So it's still support level for SNDL. It's not much to do on SNDL right now. The only play was up to that range. And now it's just kind of dying down, going back to whether, whether run started from. Also, Tilray is just crashing down. There's not a play on Tilray. I will let this one go for now because the only play I saw was from here to there. It did that, and now it's just crashing probably going to break that support and even crash down more okay just be careful of these the run already happened and there is nothing else to do on it right now so you got to let that one go and kind of let that one just keep pushing djt nice big push today went up about 25 percent is there anything that i'd like for a play no but it is moving decently right there is not i don't see anything for a play but what we could do is for now we could put support i'll put support at about 30 dollars for now okay 
So that's pretty much it. There's not a play that I want to do on it right now. It doesn't seem too optimal um, for right now. But just watch that $30 level of support, DJT. That's pretty much it. I know, there's nothing I want to play on it uh, currently. Reddit stock pushing down. Like I said, give it probably one more week and we'll see if, there, if there's a potential on it. Usually IPOs, you want to wait a month and then try to play it. If there is a play, that's the only thing. So far, I don't see anything that will possibly be a play, but just kind of let that one uh, move a little bit. PANW hasn't moved. Hope you guys listened and didn't get that one. Again, not just financial advice, all education purposes only, but this thing did literally a Zippo. Not really interested in it. Let that one move. We got Apple stock that pulled down more today. Okay. It also hit my support level right around 167. Look at that. Had a nice little drop to the downside, installed all through that support level right there to that lower side, right? We also played Apple today. As you can see, my Apple put option play uh, sold some for 18, then four. I think it averaged out about 15-ish percent gain on Apples. That's after we did the NVIDIA put. So that was two scouts we did today. That's why I'm telling y'all, join the team. First time subscription is only $65 a month. That price is about to go up. This is the lowest price you're ever going to get. I'm telling you now. But make sure you join. Fast check your success. Understand the knowledge. Actually build yourself to start being profitable every week. Also, follow me on Instagram, Wood on Knowledge. Make sure you run that up. If you watch the stories, you'll see in the stories, you'll see all the team win-ins. We killed it. This week was a banger, okay? Team members, make sure you let them know in the comments. Because this week was a banger. But we did play Apple. Apple saw that support level. Like I told y'all, I think Apple's going down to 160. Even when it ran up here off news, I didn't trust it. We had resistance at 177. It hit that beautiful, and then zoop, came right back down. Literally every day after that resistance level was pure downside this is the importance of the levels that i give y'all i don't no rsi no mac mds no double top triple top none of that none of that only pure price action pure levels okay very very powerful that you understand that part okay but that's apple stock i think it'll break that support i'm looking to scalp apple stock more so make sure you join to see those and i'm looking for it to go to around 160 on that lower side tesla stock Oh, make sure you watch the video before this one on like the S&P 500. You got to know what this stock is doing every day you are on the market. Okay, it's very crucial. That's the video before this one. And also in the video before this one is the Iran news versus Israel. You got the Dubai news in there. You got um, Joe Biden putting um, sanctions on them. So yeah, make sure you watch that video before this one. Now back to Tesla stock. So Tesla stock, we've been scalping it. We've been swinging it. As you can see here, we've been scalping Tesla, swinging Tesla. We've been winning every single Tesla play. And then today we sold our last 20% of our Tesla put swings for 77% gain on that put swing that we did. Okay, it was very beautiful. Look, April 18th, we sold it this morning, literally four minutes after the market opened. We sold all that profit. So we got the puts in here and we sold them all through here because now it hit my target. I told you all Tesla was going to 150 for weeks okay but now that it's there we have to wait because guess what it has earnings on tuesday next week so if it has that secondary crash that's what i'm looking to buy heavy shares and my leaps right if you don't know what leaps are make sure you join the team we'll explain it but uh if it rises up and it pushes up then i'll still get shares because it's probably only going to rise up maybe if it's like 150 by earnings it probably just rides up to like the 160s which is still low comparable where tesla's going to go right so that's what i'm kind of waiting out for oh, tuesday hit my target perfect no concurrent levels right now the new support is that 150 right where we are now okay but they have earnings on tuesday so tesla's going to be a very big mover um after that earnings starts to come in all right so let's go to gold i am watching gold nice little two-day push we want to make sure this is not just a normal retracement and then crash down where it's actually going to turn us bullish back to the higher side so for now let's move the support it is 1595 but we have a shorter term support now at about 1665 that we want to watch out for now on gold right i am looking to play it probably won't play it till next week but there's just some analysts on it as i call it that reversal on gold did it perfect now i'm watching that 1665 uh support level on gold for rock gold right now nothing too much i want to do right now i'm kind of just watching it and just being patient till it play forms remember don't free trade be strategic and have the play form for you, okay? OXY stalled at that support level that I gave y'all at like 60, 65, 80 ish. If we go down to the 50 minute chart, how many days has it been at that support? Three days in a row, it taps that support level. Make sure you guys run the likes up. I appreciate it. Also, comment any stocks you guys want me to add. I'll probably keep this one a little shorter and then a bigger video will probably come out. Maybe I'll make a video for y'all tomorrow. Let me know if y'all want a video tomorrow or not. Maybe I'll make a short one tomorrow or I'll just make one Saturday. So depending on how many likes y'all get this one up, okay? I'm not going to put a specific number, but if I like the likes, then I'll make one tomorrow. If not, it'll just be Saturday. But um, yeah, so OXY support hit beautiful. 
right there is not too much we can do on here because this is just the first initial drop on oil but i am looking to play it and this is what i was kind of waiting out for of why i wasn't chasing the runs up because you'll get this and you can get a cheaper prices and continue back to the higher side then now we got bitcoin so bitcoin is stuck between two levels right resistance and support 64,000 in our shorter term resistance level our bigger one is 72,100 once we break here i believe we're going to 90,000 okay but we have to break this one but first shorter term 64,000 resistance, 61,000 support. Notice how we tapped that support here, we tapped it here, and we haven't really wanted to break that yet. These are your two major levels for Bitcoin. This also is all I'm watching for the crypto area. I don't need to watch every other crypto separately. I keep it very simple and precise. These are the two levels I'm watching. Even if we break that 64,000, it's not like we're bullish longer term, but shorter term, I'm bearish right now on Bitcoin, right? But if it starts breaking here, maybe that will show a sign that it wants to go higher. I know the having this Saturday, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section, but that's that retracement we was expecting, which we've been accumulating Bitcoin. We've been accumulating Ethereum. We've been buying uh, Solana. We've been buying these cryptos. So whenever the run starts to happen again, we'll be chilling. So instead of us, see when this run happens like this, instead of us chasing this, we'll actually be taking profits instead of trying to buy it, right? This is the time where you actually start getting in when there's murder in the streets, pain and stuff like that, right? So that's the two levels for Bitcoin. And then that brings us over to like Coinbase and so forth. These don't seem like they're ready to go up either. You see how Coinbase ran up today and it rejected it? It ran up, right? That doesn't get me excited, right? That's not bullish movement. And then it just rejected it back down. That's what you're going to be in until the market confirms, until Bitcoin confirms. It's really not going to confirm to the higher side. I would love for Coinbase to break that 205 and come back down to 180. Coinbase, MSTR, and RKB are like the top three. I'm looking for the crypto stocks area for the stock market. But watch that 205 of Coinbase. is not too much to do right now. Also, MSTR, 1155. Watch that. They're all about to get in earnings seasons. It's going to start ramping up next week as well. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, earnings is about to ramp up. But 1155, waiting to buy MSTR. MSTR, Coinbase, and RKB, I'll probably be buying those all at the same time. So just be prepared for that. Make sure on the team person has description. And then um RKB. Yeah. Uh RKB, I'm looking to buy more shares, looking at that support level. Nothing I want to do just yet. I like to keep the market very simple. Freedom. We don't have to beat the market eight hours a day. Yeah, an hour a day on the market, and you can do everything you need to do. Okay. Keep it strictured, keep it simple. Uh yeah, that's RKB. There was something else I want to go over. Make sure you comment those stocks down below so I can add them in the next video. HYMC stalled the support. $3.40 is not doing too much. There's nothing you can do with here. NEO, Rivian, Lucid, all those in the gutter. Let those go away. Also, um, all the crypto miners, Riot, HUD, Mara, they're trying to make some type of movements, but it's not no bullish movement where I want to buy and they're continue going higher. They're just like slowly going higher like this right it's just a normal retracement after this huge crash down so just be careful of that trying to buy it too premature when it's really not showing confirmed signs of that it wants to start coming down i'm also looking for more swing uh puts down like uh microsoft start falling down i think microsoft could reach down to about the 390s ish so i am looking to play microsoft to the downside that would be nice they also have earnings next week so be mindful of that and there's stocks that are like still held up like microsoft is technically still held up nvidia is technically still held up because you if you look at nvidia and then you look at amd they're very different of type of charts right then you look at intel very different so nvidia hasn't pulled down as much which means there's probably more opportunity to play nvidia to the downside than like amd intel or so forth to start putting that in the back of your minds because how you can make money in this bearish market is fine the laggers or even sometimes finding the leaders scalping those are trying to swing the laggers okay so just be prepared for that because it's Remember, you trade for profits, right? Once you have a goal, once you hit your goal for the week, you're done. We hit our goal like Tuesday this week, and every other day has just been extra, right? And we almost tripled our goal already for the week. So we've been killing it in the market this week. Um, so I went over the cannabis sector, oil sector, gold sector, crypto sector. SP 500 is in the video before this one. The main ones, Tesla, went over the DJT. Yeah, so I think I'll keep this video short. Thank you guys for watching the video. I went over the main concepts that I want to go over. Like I said, the bigger video will probably come out Saturday. And yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you join the team. First thing in that description is very powerful when you join. I'm telling you right now. And then follow me on Instagram, what our knowledge. Always remember, no recommendation of ours. So anything is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys on the next one.